Hello and welcome to Normal Game Couch. Today I'm playing The Binding of Isaac. Um, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, which you may because I'm going to archive this, but if you're watching this live, then you're aware. But uh, let me explain to people who are watching this on YouTube. The title of this stream is uh, uh, Genesis... 22.9 and 22.10. That uh, is the uh, biblical analog of the title of this game, The Binding of Isaac. Uh, it is when uh, Abraham was commanded by God to kill his son Isaac. And the reason I, I bring that up is because the game uh, follows, uh, the game's almost an adaptation of that. Uh, the game is watching Christian broadcasting on, uh, her TV. And here's the voice of God in her head. And, uh, I'm explaining this because I skipped the attract mode. We're just jumping into the game, so I feel like I have to explain it. So, this crazy woman is watching Christian broadcasting on television, and uh, here's the voice of God commanding her to kill her son, also named Isaac. Um, to escape his mother, he uh, crawls down into the basement underneath a trapdoor in his room, and... Uh, that's kind of where we are now. We're in the basement trying to get away from uh, Isaac's mother who is trying to kill us. So, there you go. That's the narrative. Uh, other than that, it's just a really fun game to play. I'm not the best at it. Uh, I don't think I'm the worst at it either, but I'm, I'm not the best at it. So, uh, we're just going to play this kind of casually. Just kind of go through it, explore it. Play it like I'm playing Zelda. You know what I mean? I'm going to play this like I'm playing Zelda. We're going to go through this dungeon... Maybe have time for another dungeon. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, Alright, so without further ado, we'll begin this thing. So, um, because he's in such a sad and miserable state, you can see Isaac there, and the blue underneath his eyes are his tears. Uh, your weapon in this game is your tears. You cry on... Uh, you shoot your tears at enemies to kill them. Um, like that. Uh, this is a twin stick shooter. So I'm moving with the left stick, and I'm shooting with the, uh, uh, right stick. Um, I, I, it should be noted that I can only shoot in the c four cardinal directions. I can't shoot at a diagonal. Um, and, uh, there's certain things that affect, uh, how the game plays out over the course of, of gameplay. Uh, different items you pick up give you different abilities and, and, uh, kind of affect, uh, how, uh, how you progress and, and how you get stronger and <coughs> also how you get weaker. <coughs> Excuse me, I was eating crackers earlier. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, we'll just jump into a room, kill some bad guys here. Um, yes, it's a, it's a very, uh, disturbing game. Uh, the, uh, art direction belies how disturbing it is. Uh, so we have, uh, bombs. Now, this room here to the south, that is a, like a free item room. So I definitely want to check that out. Free upgrade. Uh, there's hundreds and hundreds of items in this game, and they all affect your character in diff different ways. Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't think I've ever gotten this one before. Shoop de whoop, blarg. I know what shoop de whoop is. Uh, I don't really, I don't notice an effect. Oh, it's this one is tied to the uh, L1 button. We'll have to try that around uh, around enemies. Oh no, L1's bomb. Be, yeah, there we go. <laughs> L2. Now that, that ability has to charge, uh, and it charges as I kill enemies. Shoop to whoop is a, uh, a meme on the old internet. Kind of 
kind of this giant monster that vomits happiness, I suppose you could say. All right, that's a key door up there. I don't have any keys, so maybe we'll come back to that. I like shoot the loop. All right, that's already the boss door there. I kind of feel like I want to uh, level up a bit. All right, so this, this is the shop here. I can buy more keys if I had the gold. I can buy more bombs if I had the gold. I could buy this upgrade. If I had the gold, I'm saying gold, I guess it's just coins. Um, I can also donate to this machine here, if I had coins, uh, to unlock, uh, you know, like extras, bonus material. Um, Alright. Let's find... Let's, let's, let's fully explore this, this floor of the dungeon here. There's nothing in here. Okay, so this floor has been fully explored. I got my shoop de whoop charged. So I'll try to remember to use that on the boss. So this is a... Uh, I'm going to bomb that and get that coin. This is uh, uh, the first uh, level of the dungeon. So things are relatively easy and it's, it's a relatively small uh, dungeon to start off to start off with a relatively small floor of the dungeon to start off with but they get much bigger and, and more complex Larry Jr. I want to shoot to whoop this guy but I want to get him at a good angle first maybe hit both of them at the same time yeah like that that was boss all right come on Larry Jr. Uh, okay, now that's an armor heart there, the blue one. So that'll tack on a uh, extra like shield heart or armor heart to the end of my uh, my health there. And that mushroom is an upgrade. We'll see what what it is, what it does. Magic mushroom, all stats up. Sounds good to me. Now you notice my tears are a little bit bigger. Uh, I believe I too am a little bit bigger on the screen. So. Uh, some of the upgrades are way more drastic. I'm sure you'll see some of that. Some of the upgrades change the look of your character. The look of Isaac. Uh, sometimes in humorous ways. Sometimes in surprisingly uh, graphic and disgusting ways. Oh, we'll go down a level here. All right. Those bombs with the troll face are, uh, you can't pick those up. They exist to try to destroy you. Got another key right on. Right on. Ah, didn't know there was a rock there. Uh, those darker red fires will shoot bullets at me. So I gotta be careful not to get too close to them. And this guy's stuck there. Alright. Yeah, that guy had a bomb stuck in his head, so... When I killed him, it, it, it exploded. Don't know if you noticed that or not. Alright. Ah! What's this? Monkey paw, wish granted. Great here. Remote detonator. Remote bomb detonation. Uh, now that replaces the shoop de whoop. I would much rather have the shoop de whoop. What's cool about these chargeable items is that they charge independently. So, like, I can go use the shoop de whoop, come back, and, and get the, uh, the remote detonator. Uh, they charge independently, is, is what I'm trying to say. It's pretty cool. Alright. I don't have enough coinage to afford anything. So I'll just donate what I have. Get out of her. 
Ugh. Spikes. This is one of these rooms that looks worse than it is. I just walked across it. Alright, there's the boss room. Uh, definitely not done exploring this level yet. Now, the, uh, the armor heart that I picked up when I took that damage before, you can see that uh, I'm missing half of it. Uh, these normal hearts don't replenish that. Once, once the armor is gone, it's gone. Hello, the Eurig. What's up? Yeah, there's like a 30 second delay. Uh, I don't have a device here in front of me, so I, I can't see your chat in real time. So, yeah, it's like a 30 second delay. 13? Okay, not, not, that, not as bad as I thought, but still pretty bad. It's, it's gotten uh, better. Uh, you know, it definitely used to be more like 30 seconds. But yeah, I can't see chat in real time. Sometimes viewers will be like... Hey, you should go in that way. And then I'll be like in a totally different, totally different side of the dungeon by then. Got my shoop to whoop. My take out dingle with my shoop to whoop. Ah. Not very effective. Um, you seem to be schooling someone next to you. Uh, okay. Um, well, see, I, I archive these on YouTube, so even if there's nobody in the room, I, uh, I kind of provide commentary even when no one's in here. Shot speed up. Yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, so... So yeah, you can see how it changes the look of my character. But yeah, I'm uh, I provide commentary even when no one's in here because because of the YouTube archive judgment. So if I wanted to make a deal with the devil, I could do it here. I have to give up a heart for that book. Don't feel like it, so I'm gonna pass that up. Anyway, welcome to the stream. Sorry about the uh, the chat delay. Nothing I can do about it. I can't I can't make Twitch work better though there are times I wish I could. Believe me. Yeah, there's nobody else here, man. Uh, kind of freaking me out a little bit, though. <laughs> Spiders. I play a lot of uh, bullet hell type games, like Japanese bullet hell shooters. Uh... I thought initially that that would translate into uh, ability with this game, but uh, it does not. <laughs> it's a completely different beast, man. Alright, so there's going to be three waves of enemies. That was the first. This is the second. Uh, 
Oh, these things are a pain in the neck. You gotta wait for them to open up before you can... Come on. There you go. south now these uh, these dungeons are randomly generated um, I think there's something like over five like between 500 to 600 uh, rooms in, in the game's assets uh, and it generates dungeons using those rooms uh, by randomly cobbling them together which is pretty cool because it, it gives this game like a huge replayability factor. This is the boss room. I want to um, go back and uh, fully explore this dungeon, this floor first, before taking on the boss. So, I mean, that's pretty much the formula, you know. Uh, find, you know, explore the dungeon, get the upgrades, take on the boss, go down to the next floor, rinse, repeat. But it's a winning formula. I want to hit those guys with TNT, but it didn't work out. Alright, now that door to the north with the teeth. Uh, there's probably a good upgrade back there. But going through that door will hurt me. But I can see on my mini-map that I have a, uh, uh, a heart... Uh, waiting for me. Two rooms to the uh, right and one room down. So, I can take the damage. Alright. So we got like some some bonus hearts here. So yeah, all in all it was worth it. Taking that little bit of damage. And uh... I haven't gone this way yet. Uh, uh, I don't have a uh, character to uh, that's able to get that item in there, that heart in the middle. Uh, so we'll just pass that by. Alright, and this is a upgrade room here. Always good, always positive things come out of these rooms. Mom's wig. You feel itchy. <laughs> Oh, I see. It gives me a uh, spider companion from time to time. That's cool. Alright, I have a key and a bomb, so let's get this chest. almost didn't see that chest up there. Oh, that one didn't need a key anyway. But this room did. Uh, just donate. path I haven't gone down yet. Alright, I think I'm ready to tackle the, uh, the next boss room here. Uh... I just donate what it, whenever. Uh, I don't... Uh, I feel compelled to do it. It's probably smarter... Oops, probably smarter to save my money, but... Shoot to whoop! guy's a pushover. I used to think this guy was hard. Old bandage. HP up. It's funny because like toward like the end of a, of a dungeon uh, you could pick up like a lot of items that really change the look of your character and <laughs> by the end of uh, 
by the end of a, of a run, he may end up looking completely unrecognizable. But it's always cool, though. I love how dynamic that is. It's always a fun... Fun, uh, fun experiment when you pick up a item that drastically changes the way Isaac looks. Yeah, I mean, I I I had read uh, something about about donating, but. Uh, I wasn't too sure what it did, but I figured it was something that would be beneficial in the long run. Ah, oh, die! Those guys are the worst. Not really difficult, just annoying. closed in on me fast. Coinage. These flies explode, so I gotta be careful where I kill them at. Say explode upon death. Ah! On, guy. Controlled tears. Oh, this is the worst. I actually really hate this one. <laughs> um, God. All right. Sucks. I mean, it kind of, it's kind of cool in, in one regard that it turns your tears into like kind of an area of effect, like damage over time kind of thing. But, uh, but man, it sucks. I mean, it kind of reminds me of controlling the, uh, the Shikigami in, uh, Guange. It's just kind of this, like, overly, like... <sighs> I don't know, like... It, it's more it's more difficult than it needs to be because now I have to move my tears and my character. Come on, expose your innards so I can kill you. Come on, guy. God, this guy. How come he's not popping up? Ugh. These guys are the worst. Alright, good. Key and a coin. C 
see for enemies like that, the controlled tiers are actually pretty awesome. They're pretty good for bosses too. But uh, just like for general gameplay, I'm not into it. Alright, there's a boss room. Got a lot of spider helpers, which is good. I think I got this dungeon fully explored. I just kind of want to make sure, because I don't want to pass by any potential upgrades. Yeah, I got it fully explored. Alright. So yeah, we'll go ahead on to the uh, the boss room now. Chub. Ah. That was quick. Pageant Boy, Ultimate Grand Supreme. Uh, Soul Heart, you, uh, there was a, are you talking about an item that was in the shop back there? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll buy it. I'm not really, uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like the guy that just kind of survives on drops. I don't normally buy items. But, uh, was it this way? Yeah, alright. Um, I think the reason I didn't buy it before is because I don't go through the dungeon. But, uh, but yeah, good call. Thanks for pointing that out. in the depths. Uh, this thing kind of acts as a gravity well. Um, actually pulls bullets around too, which is a pretty cool effect. Um, but I uh, didn't really get to see that because of my controlled tears. Got some pills here. Wait for that acidic blood to go away. All right, let's see what this is. Tears up, right on. So even though I have controlled tears, I still think that does give me an effect. Probably uh, makes the damage stronger or something. I would have to guess. You guys lunge at you quickly. Oh, these guys are dangerous. And sometimes with guys, with those kind of guys, like the guys that shoot you from the uh, cardinal directions, controlled tiers are actually pretty beneficial. Uh, trying to weigh the pros and cons of going through this door. Yeah, we're not. Let's see what we got here. Guppy's tail. Cursed? Ah. Mm. Alright. 
Oh, this is going to be a piece of cake. See, sometimes controlled tears are excellent. Now I can't get to that, so... I have to leave it. But nine times out of ten, controlled tears are the worst. Kill these guys in their jib form too, or they'll resurrect. Well, I made a bloody mess of that room. Uh, now this guy takes like life donations. I'm not into that, <laughs> so we'll just leave that guy be. I see that there's a hidden room. See if I can get into that. Don't know exactly where the entrance would be. So you're saying I should donate my hearts? Pills. Hmm. I mean, that's. We'll give it a shot. Are you a wizard? I mean, it was worth seeing, but I think I'd still rather have Shoop to Whoop. But uh, but yeah, you're right though. Um, I had some hearts around, but, uh, I can go get this one here. All right. touch. I was not anticipating that. No, I did not open the secret room. I was trying to figure out how to get in there. Uh, I can see, you know, I can see where it is, of course. It's back here, but...
All right, well, we'll get to a non-long room so I can just bomb the center of the wall. I think I'm going to go to the boss now. No keys. Ah, oh, the cage. I like this boss. He jumped right when I fired off my shoot to wood. Kind of nothing when you have uh, controlled tears. Mom's underwear range up, which does not affect me at all. Yeah, I think there's quite a delay on chat now. I think it's really worth it to uh, to spend a bomb and take the spike damage. So forget those things. worth coming in here. Oh yeah? Let's try it out. Oh yeah, right on. Thanks for telling me that. I actually uh, didn't know about that. That's a little bit, little bit of an exploit there. <laughs> Now I'd need a uh, a key and a bomb to get those coins. I don't have a key right now. Got plenty of bombs though. Still no key. There's the boss room. Um, God, you know, I, I don't think there's anything else I can do on this floor. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. Go back here into the south.
Yeah, I know. I, I was thinking about doing that, but I, I kind of want to save my bombs. Because there's no guarantee that anything good is going to come out. I think I'd rather save my bombs for enemies. Now there's an arcade. So let's see, we got a slot machine, a thing that turns hearts into coins, and uh, this cup game that I suck at. I got plenty of coins. We'll hit this until we get down to 20. <laughs> well, I guess that was the uh, the magic number. Bomb the guy? Okay. Cool. I'm glad I have a key now. <laughs> Mr. Boom, reusable bomb, buddy. I, that's a pretty good one, but I really like Shoop to Whoop. I think I'd rather keep Shoop to Whoop. Alright. Now that I know you can go diagonal. Speed up right on. Ah. ah, didn't make it that time. <laughs> My character is looking like a wreck. <laughs> If you're just joining the stream, thanks for checking out the stream. Uh, I'm playing uh, The Binding of Isaac. And uh, we're going to go fight the boss now. Isaac versus mom. This is when things start to get crappy with the uh, controlled tears. I have it in my head that it would be cool to beat this without uh, taking any damage, but ah, there we go. I didn't think that was going to happen. I think I jinxed myself by talking about it. Isaac! <laughs> Magic scab, HP plus luck up. Alright, now... Uh... We're going into the womb. <laughs> the cutscenes in this game. Yeah, my character is looking like a mess. <laughs> it's always funny, funny like in the late game, uh, how different your character looks. I appreciate that. Thank <laughs> you. 
coins, heart, coin. Yeah. down. Ah. Go left. That spider's helped me out on that one. Oh my god. <laughs> that was easier than I thought it was going to be. All right, so we already made it to the boss room, which is surprising, but I, I, I don't know, man. Like, I just, uh, I'm a completionist at heart, so I really feel like I got to see the rest of this dungeon. Yeah, I know. It's like, it's like Mushiheime Sama Futari up in this piece. <laughs> I could bomb these, but there's no guarantee I'm going to get anything out of them. Eh, heart. Half a heart. I guess that was worth it. Big room to the right. Ah! Postules. Where is you? Ah! Uh, my tear is so slow. Ah! Somewhere, crap. Stepped on him. Pop up, guy. There he is. Too slow. There we go. The world. Those guys were chained to the wall. That's not fair to them. Uh, that one broke free. Ah, so many, like, chests, so little keys. Oh, crap, I just... I used the world. Whoops. I hit the wrong button. I thought I had the wheel, but I had the world. There's a uh, another hidden room up here. Yeah, it doesn't. Devil.
So many chests, so little keys. Again. I'm not doing good on health. In retrospect, I probably should have just uh, went into the boss room like as soon as I got to it. Alright. And remember to use my shoop to whoop too. So that's the problem is I get all these abilities and I forget that I have them. <laughs> Lay off. Dog food. HP up right on. Got the Bible. Uh, where did the wheel card go? Like, I don't, uh, I remember having it, but I don't know where it went. I was even looking for it on my way back. I don't see it on my map anywhere. Is it up here? There it is. So is there any point for me having the Bible now or should I pick up my shoop to whoop again? Oh, I guess it closed. I guess I can't pick it up again. Oh well. Man, that sucks. I didn't know it was going to close. Alright, doing pretty good on health. Let's tackle this big room here. I think the uh, controlled tears is really good for bosses. I just don't like using it. I'm not a big fan of controlled tears. By the way, just uh, for posterity, I want to get make sure I get the seed on here. It's E X Q K R K one G, E X Q K R K one G. I just want to remember that in case I want to do the seed again at some point. Because I kind of like the seed so far. Ah, they cornered me. Now I get a key. And another key. Yeah, EX QK RK one G. Get back here. Those guys move fast. Driving a lot of keys now. Yep, RK1G. Another arcade. Let's check it out. I wonder what that key block is about. Could be one of those Zelda esque, uh, you know like side view rooms. I've seen a few of those. Uh, yeah, all right, let's uh, get rid of that poop. Play the slots a bit.
If you're just joining the stream, thanks for checking out the show. There's uh, Super Meat Boy down there. Alright. Ah. It's hard to anticipate that kind of thing when you enter a room. So many keys now, I love it. Alright, let's try this uh, corner walk thing that uh, the U-Rig told me about. See, now the trick is I gotta do this quick because I gotta put down a bomb. Although the bomb will probably kill this kid, huh? Let's try to put it far enough away from him. Ah, I killed him. That's alright. Yeah, thanks for the compliment earlier about how uh, how deft I am at going through those uh, spikes diagonally. I appreciate the compliment. Uh, I was wondering if I could pull that off without killing that kid, but it didn't work. Oh, right on. I just unlocked Kane. I guess I... That was because I got 55 coins. So, there you go. If you want a seed that... Uh, that uh, you can get a lot of coins in. EXQKRK1G. Ah! They're moving too fast. We got here. Balls of steel. There's actually a seed. Uh, I admit I tried to cheat and uh, unlock that character by using a seed that gives you like a hundred coins, but uh, the developers were wise to that and it didn't work. Which is good because I kind of feel like you should earn that kind of thing. So, I'm cool with the fact that that seed didn't work. Get a heart at arcade and roll more. Okay. I mean, now that I'm not saving... Uh, This is the last level on the, you know, on the, uh, in the dungeon here, so now that I know I'm not saving for anything, like now that I know that, uh, I've gotten everything out of this dungeon I can, I'll totally spend my, uh, my money at the arcade. got here. That's uh, like a match. I don't know why I can't pick it up. Hmm. Any uh, any input the U-Rig on why I can't pick up that match? I don't really understand why I can't. Oh, I hate these things. They always seem to pop up right where I'm walking. That was pretty easy, actually. And this is the room I was already in. Over here. Oh, okay. All right. Doesn't stack. Gotcha. Yeah, I kind of like my build right now. Um, hopefully it's good enough to uh, 
to take out the boss. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not like I'm not pro at this game or anything. Um I still have a lot to learn. I've I've only played it since it was free and I stopped playing it to play other things, but I thought I'd pick it up again on the stream, but all right. So I'm kind of wondering if I should like spend all my money now since I know this is the last floor of the dungeon. What's your opinion? Tears up. Sounds good to me. Oh, okay. Well, we'll just spend what I can then. Seems like the machine should have jammed by now, huh? Key. Yeah, I know, right? How long until the machine jams? <laughs> This is riveting entertainment, isn't it? <laughs> Are you sure the machine jams, dude? Because, like, I believe you, but it's taken a long time. I mean, I'm willing to see this thing th through. Hmm, I don't know if I should risk it on these pills. I don't know what they are. I feel like I'm heading into the next boss room, like, pretty well prepared. I mean, the only reason I'm still doing this is because you told me that it would jam before I uh, spent all my coins, so... It's totally not jamming, so I think I'm gonna quit. <laughs> Maybe I picked up, like, a perk or something that keeps machines from jamming, I, like, way early. Like, before you even got here. I mean, when I started using this... Ah, right. Soul heart there. 
when I started uh, using this, it uh, I had like 65 coins. Yeah, I am pretty unlucky, actually. Are you a wizard? I'm not sure what that does. Do you think I should use it or what? I'm interested in your opinion. Well, that's it for my coins. Look at all these, like, useless hearts around. Um... I picked up a Are You a Wizard before, and it didn't really seem to negatively affect me, so I'm going to use it. I'm not really sure what everything does. Like, I know what most stuff does, but I'm not sure about that one. Alright, boss room. Here we go. I faced off against Mom's Heart before, and it did not go well. Dodging those eye lasers. Alright. So that Bible came in handy. Well, there you go. Alright, well, uh, that's actually the first I've ever gotten. Uh, like I told you earlier, uh, I, uh, I've only, up until now, and I guess even now, been playing this game casually. I never really got in, into it so far as, like, sunk my teeth into it. I've only been kind of playing it on and off, uh, uh, since I got it, but, uh, but yeah, so that was uh, that was a good uh, experience with the game. I I beat that section of the game. Um, the pattern I've noticed is that it seems to add more. So like next time I play, there will probably be new sections that I haven't seen yet. So uh, I may tackle that on another stream. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and call that the stream. Uh, if you're interested in watching the VOD, if you're just getting here and you're interested in, in, interested in seeing the path that got me here, uh, check out the VOD. Uh, Twitch keeps them on for two weeks. Other than that, I'm on uh, YouTube. Uh, search Normal Game Couch. I'm the only Normal Game Couch on there. So uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.